Listen up, Bronx. Listen, Listen up! up! I'll tell you about the number zero. Zero is commonly used as a numerical digit to represent a specific amount, that amount, and nothing. A quantity that is nowhere to be found, yet is everywhere we go. Zero, spelled Z-E-R-O, has many other names, like not, ought, nil, or in certain occasions, cipher. It started somewhere in the Eastern Hemisphere and traveled to the Americas pre-Columbian, which made the zero the French delicacy that is a baguette. Seriously, this thing looked like a baguette. Then the magic number traveled to the ancient Greeks, which made was lo- religious and philosoph- philosophical paradoxes about the legitimacy of zero. How can nothing be something, they questioned. Then they went to China and then India. India was where zero was popularized, presumably, although not unanimously, throughout the Gupta period. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal yeah. learning. Excuse me. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.